All right, fruit lovers, this is Ross. I am so excited for today's video because I have been thoroughly impressed with this blackberry variety. I'm gonna give you guys in today's video all of the details about it. It's called Columbia Star. And I would highly recommend that you guys pick up one of these and grow it at your own backyard orchard. I'm here in the Philadelphia area and what's been amazing, I think, just about this blackberry and this one trait alone is enough for me, is just how early it actually ripens. It is exceptionally early. In fact, it's one of the earliest ripening fruits I have here in the yard. Um, in fact, it's ripening not too far behind strawberries, like the alpine strawberries I have over here in the raised bed. Uh, it's also not ripening too far behind the gumi. Um, in fact, it's earlier than my raspberries. It's earlier than my blueberries. It's, it is a, really a nice, refreshing breath of air, I guess, of having a blackberry that's not only early, it's hardy, it's vigorous, it's trailing, it's thornless, but the flavor is also incredible. And this berry has its own unique berry flavor that uh, I'm gonna hopefully convince you guys that just the eating qualities alone is enough, in my opinion, to grow this blackberry. Uh, in fact, I've really been a big proponent of this blackberry's parent, or one of, the, one of the parents of this blackberry called the Marionberry. And that's what originally got me into this berry. I've been talking about the Marionberry for years. I've been saying how good it is. You guys have to try it. The unfortunate reality about it is that not everybody can really grow it reliably. In fact, if you look on different websites, you'll see that it's rated down to zone seven, maybe seven B you'll see on certain websites. I think personally, it's a zone A plant. It's really difficult to grow here in the Philadelphia area and I wouldn't recommend it. Instead, you can get this variety. Now, is it a direct replacement for the Marionberry? No. In fact, I think it has a different flavor and a different eating experience, um, even though it was bred with the Marionberry. And in fact, that was my expectation. I really thought that this would be a replacement for the Marionberry. And if I look at One Green World's website, which is where I got this amazing blackberry, they say that Columbia Star is a thornless blackberry uh, bred by the USDA and Oregon State University. It is the, has the beloved Marionberry in its lineage and the flavor of these large berries has been rated as good or even better than the Marionberry. The vines are vigorous and trailing and fruits ripen in mid-July here in the Willamette Valley. That's where One Green World is. Another added bonus for the Columbia Star is that it's reportedly even more cold hardy than the Marionberry. Fruit is easy to pick by hand or by machine harvesting. Uh, making it a winner for home gardeners as well as commercial growers. So all of that I would say is true. That's a great description. I have no problems with that. A lot of nursery descriptions are way off base and or they don't give you a whole lot of information. I think what's weird is that certain nurseries don't even know what they're selling, uh, especially in the world of figs. That's a topic for another day. But the Marionberry, I would say you could make an argument it's better than the Marionberry, but it's definitely different and it is not a direct replacement for that eating experience. The flavor from what I remember is different. The texture from what I remember is different. Obviously I don't have them here side by side. It is hardy, it is trailing, it is vigorous. I've seen more vigorous canes than this, but I would say it is a vigorous variety. Um, it's thornless. I think it's got everything you'd want in a, ba in a blackberry. And the fact that it's hardier and ripens earlier than any blackberry I've ever ripened here or grown here, to me is a huge plus. Uh, I'll say this, it might not be hardier. In fact, I don't know exactly where this is rated hardiness wise. I think the last three years I've had this in the ground and the last three years it's fruited. Um, this is its third season. I don't necessarily think we've had the coldest winter temperatures to actually accurately say what zone this is rated to. But I think if you're in a zone seven, you're probably good. Uh, zone six, put it on the ground, cover it with wood chips, and then plop it back up here on your trellis. Um, and then of course, when the canes are done fruiting here on their floor canes, it's not a prime cane variety. It will only fruit in the second year. 
uh, then cut out those canes, train the new, new canes up here on the trellis, and then again in the fall, bring them back down to the ground and uh, cover them with mulch. And you should be able to get them through the winter time in colder zones. So again, it's got a lot of things going for it. Now let's try some of the berries. This is a very, very productive plant. And I'll say when you're actually harvesting these, it is quite deceptive, this blackberry. And I think most blackberries are deceptive uh, because if you see the blackberry that turns black, you immediately think it's ripe. But in most situations I've experienced, it's not. In fact, the individual little bubbles or vesicles, I'm not sure what they're called, but the individual little bubbles on the blackberry, if they're still red in there, you know it can actually hang on the uh, canes for a longer period of time and it's not fully ripe. And it's only until this blackberry becomes a bit softer, uh, juicier, and more ripe that you experience a softer texture that melts in your mouth and the experience of that Marion Berry-esque berry flavor. But to me, it has its own berry flavor. Let's try it. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very good. Um, but to me, it tastes more, instead of tasting having like a Marion Berry flavor, which I think is like a raspberry, a super intense raspberry, to me, this has uh, kind of like a mix between a blackberry and a mulberry. I think it actually has more mulberry flavor in it than a raspberry or even a blackberry. It, it can get there if you allow it to ripen. But normally, if you pick them a bit firmer, it doesn't get that, that mulberry flavor nearly as much. But yeah, I would say if you get it there, you let it ripen, and you learn how to pick these, this is an exceptional blackberry. And again, well worth, I think, growing at home in a commercial setting. This one here is probably quite ripe. And so what I'm looking for is just, I feel all the berries and I'm trying to see if they're a bit more plump rather than so much firm. And if they come right off of the, the cane there with very little force, then I know it's gonna be more ripe than less ripe. Uh, the only thing you have to contend with is the birds or any other animals. And uh, of course you could net it, of course you could protect it or do whatever it is you need to do. But that right there is the Columbia Star Blackberry. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. See you for the next one. Take care.